Ladies and gentlemen, I busted my tail to get this video out before season 15 dropped because I feel like this is something that could be game changing moving forward. And if not game changing, quite strong. And this isn't going to be a full weapon review, more of a PSA. Over the last couple of weeks, Bungie has dropped some hefty twabs on us. That being the This Week at Bungie news update for those who are unaware. We have a lot of changes set to be unleashed on the world of Destiny in just a matter of hours at the time of this video's release. Some subclasses and abilities are getting some targeted reworks. We have some exotic armor pieces getting tuned. And most recently, Bungie addressed weapon changes. Highlighted there is Anarchy getting a nerf, Vex Mythoclass getting a pretty serious buff, Fusion Rifles are getting a systemic class-wide change that is going to completely alter the landscape of the weapon class, which me being a Fusion Rifle aficionado is something that I'm very excited to dive into. And the one thing that I'm probably the most excited about is the old Trials of the Nine weapons being added to the loot pool of the Prophecy Dungeon. Now I can run one of my favorite pieces of content in the game to get my hands on some updated versions of some really awesome guns. And there were a ton of other changes that I did not mention. What I'm really here to focus on though is the fact that all primary weapons now will have infinite ammo reserves. No more collecting primary ammo bricks, you're always going to have an unlimited amount of primary ammo in your pocket. And in my opinion, for 95% of the weapons in Destiny 2, this is just a great quality of life change. Was running dry on primary ammo a major issue? Not usually. I mean, when it did happen, it was extremely stinking annoying, so yeah, great change. But there are a few outliers that this change is going to affect on a more tangible level. Bungie talked about sweet business, fighting lion, weapons with drop mag, and there's probably some more cases. But one weapon not mentioned that immediately popped into my head is Devil's Ruin. It's a curious little sidearm that made its way into the game in Season of Dawn during the Shadowkeep era. It's available for direct purchase, but you still do need to own the Shadowkeep expansion. But anyway, this is a handy little sidearm, and I'm not a huge sidearm fan, but for me, this was always one of the better feeling ones in the game. It has okay stats, nothing to write home about, but they're decent. It has a middle of the road, 300 round per minute, semi-automatic, standard fire mode. And this is a weapon that does fire on trigger release, just like Cryostasia. Functionally, it has to because of its alt fire mode. And that alternate fire mode is what really makes the weapon special. This is highlighted in the second sentence of the intrinsic trait, close the gap. Hold the trigger to charge up a high powered stunning laser, strong against unstoppable champions. In the exotic perk, Pyrogenesis pairs directly with this intrinsic trait. Fully charging the laser refills the magazine from reserves. So you can use it like a standard sidearm or dump 15 rounds to fire it like a laser beam. And because using the laser refills the magazine from reserves, no matter how many rounds you have left, you are still going to spend 15 rounds of ammunition. Unless you're down to your last couple rounds in reserves, you're still going to get a full laser shot, but that's kind of neither here nor there. And let me show you what kind of damage we're going to get out of Devil's Ruin versus my favorite testing dummy, Carl the Colossus. If you're just firing it like a standard sidearm, you're going to see 3,088 points of damage on a crit and 2,203 points of damage to the body, which not terrible. Sidearms in general do have some pretty decent damage output since they do need to be used at close range. When using the laser fire mode though, crits are going to register for 3,793 and body shots will land for 2,705. That's about 23% more damage, just for using the alternate fire mode. Now time spent charging the weapon up and actually firing the burst is about 1.86 seconds. Not terribly fast, but if those 15 damage ticks all land as crits, we're looking at a potential of 56,895 points of total damage. And even if you want to be on the conservative side and say you land half of those as crits and half as body shots, you're still looking at around 49,000 points of damage. And coming from a primary weapon, that is a serious chunk out of an enemy's health bar. I mean, this puts it ahead of a lot of special weapon single shot damage. Even exotics, that's better than a full burst from Bastion currently. That's more than a full burst of crits from Lord of Wolves with released wolves active. And I mean, it's even dangerously close to the damage output of some heavy weapons. Leviathan's Breath deals 61,000 points of damage on a perfectly drawn crit. The Truth Rocket Launcher, with a single rocket, it's going to deal 55,640. And before you start opening up the, but Devil's Ruin has a one second charge time, and if you factor in these other weapons, it's a primary weapon. I don't care how you want to slice it. This is serious damage coming from a primary. And you don't have to activate some damage perk or string so many headshots together before you see it. All you have to do is hold down the trigger. 
And this is nothing new for the weapon. It's always done this. This is the manner in which it's always functioned. Its biggest downfall was the ammo economy. At base without a reserves mod equipped, you can currently carry 172 total rounds for this gun. Meaning you can charge up and fire that laser 12 times before your ammo is completely spent. And all in all, that's not too bad. That's still over 600,000 points of potential damage in your pocket. But honestly, when you're gacking down enemies with the standard fire mode or bursting down major targets with the laser, those bullets can disappear out of this gun strikingly fast. But looking forward into the future a few hours, season 15 arrives. And hopefully everyone's able to get online as soon as the season drops with zero server errors. And uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. But once you do get logged in, now all primaries have infinite ammo, including Devil's Ruin. You're gonna be able to fire that charge laser beam, dealing roughly 50,000 points of damage at a crack to your heart's content, never having to worry about running out of ammo ever again. Unless Bungie actually sniffs out how strong these changes made this sidearm, and then, well, let's, let's just hope that doesn't happen. I see Devil's Ruin being a very, very powerful option in PvE moving forward. And even in PvP, if you haven't tried it, Devil's Ruin can do some work in the Crucible too. And now you don't have to worry about conserving or running out of ammo. And I can't say that I've ever had a major issue with that when using Devil's Ruin in the Crucible, but hey, now you get free and unlimited laser beam melts on enemy guardians. And Devil's Ruin's power just doesn't start and stop there. This weapon does have some nice synergy opportunities with mods, subclasses, and exotics. And it was a couple weeks ago that longtime channel supporter, award-winning Chili, dropped a comment on my player Slants video talking about the setup he was using with Devil's Ruin. It honestly sounded really nice, and it, it got my brain gears turning. So as we move into Season 15, be ready for a Devil's Ruin build video early on, and we'll see if we can push this weapon to the limits of its potential. But that is gonna do it for now. And unfortunately, since an iron worker must work the high steel by day and play Destiny by night, I'm not gonna be able to hop in right at the launch of Season 15. But for all of you out there who are getting ready to storm the castle walls as soon as it launches, best of luck getting logged in, and I hope this season meets and exceeds all of our expectations. And most importantly, enjoy your time with the game. But if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave it a like, and at least consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel if you'd like to catch more Destiny 2 content from yours truly in the near future. And I guess this is an okay time to make a small announcement. Mrs. Ironworker, who you've probably seen on the channel before, has expressed some interest in live streaming. I mean, it's a rare occurrence where I turn a stream on, but maybe down the road, we're gonna be looking at doing that a little more often. And if you'd like to contact me, you can look for Ironworker814 on Twitter, join our channel Discord, link will be in the description, or comment down below, and I will do my best to get back to you. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this video. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.